Good morning, New York City traders, people, forex, stocks, bonds, cryptos, hogs, soybeans, coffee, cocoa, traders of all kinds. Privateer FX coming at you with the CPI preview. As you can see, G7 doing nothing. We've been 55, 85 in Euro. Dollar Swiss, nothing. 2040. Cable got a minor little smack down to 138.55. And this is where we're lingering. Euro Sterling gave us what we wanted through 89.10. I gotta say the longs are feeling a bit stale here. Uh, we're trading 89.14 now. Well, we're gonna stick with it and just kind of chuck the stop loss at break even. And not really worry about it too much. It doesn't look like this is gonna pan out to be one of those uh, cool winners, but maybe we'll just let serendipity do its thing. Who knows? The high's been 20. Um, we're just kind of dicking around uh, since the break, sort of figure 20. Um, don't know. Don't know. It looks looks obviously better through 20, but at 13, 14 going to CPI, uh, don't really care, frankly. Now CPI, what are we going to do here? On a strong one, we like... Um, Dollar higher, stocks lower. This will probably mean Aussie and Kiwi could get slapped. Because of the move in Kiwi last night up to 40, we kind of feel like this is a good one. If we get a higher than expected CPI, we'll be selling Kiwi. Um, this is going to be our vehicle for a high one. If we get a low one, we're going to buy some euros. Um, just long-term trend in euro has, has been higher. If you look at it here, I mean, we did we did meander down to 122.05, but if you look at what's happening since the 120.90 break, never seen it again. No reason. That this sucker can't just rip higher, make new highs, go to 128, et cetera, et cetera. Couldn't help but notice GDP today, year on year in, in Europe, is 2.7%. I was talking to a colleague today, uh, and he reminded me that all of us have been sort of living with European growth at 1% for the last five years. Now, all of a sudden, it's close to 3 and he was reminding me that this is a big deal. And upon third, further consideration, I would agree. This is a pretty big deal. And so if we get a weak CPI, we're going to use Euro as our metric to try and make some cash. Strong one, we're going to use Kiwi. Maybe Aussie. It's tough on the liquidity side with those two monsters, but uh, that's what we're going to do. Bitcoin up to 88.82. The low has been 85.20. Sort of a little 3% range. Looks like it wants higher, folks. In fact, this now might even be a break trade. 91.05. Um, Bitcoin looks like it wants higher. So let's just be patient and see. We're obviously long. Going to manage this. Tactically adding to longs. We haven't done that in a while on a high one. This is now... I don't know. It's, it's building a base, as we say. And so that's kind of fun and interesting. What else is there? Not too much else. I mean, it's going to be a binary day. We... Um, on a super strong CPI, we're going to be a seller of stocks. On a weak one, we're also a seller of stocks up at 27, 27, sort of in this figure 30 area. We're going to sell some stocks. Um, and if it's a strong one, we'll probably 
tactically get short somewhere. It'll be bearish engulfing through yesterday's lows, which are 26.34. That's interesting. Um, but downside, you just kind of see, you just kind of roll with the momentum on the downside now. And we'll sell high ones on the upside between 2700 and 2730. All right, CPI, everyone is watching. You'll be watching too. Put your strategies together. Pick your horses. We got Kiwi and we got Euro. Good luck to you guys out there, and I'll pass this on to my North American colleagues, and I'll see you guys at the European Open. Ciao.